welcome back everybody and if you have watched my what's wrong with my Garen Weaver Fragmopedium Garen Weaver video you might recognize it and today what I plan to do is take it out of its pot look at the roots and uh, basically check its health down here since I've stopped fertilizing it, I can see that the leaves are recovering. I'm flushing it uh, every second, every third day. We've had beautiful rain for the last 24 hours. So it's had another flush from Mother Nature. And now is the time for me to check it out and show you what the roots look like so we can get a better understanding as to if there's anything I need to be doing about it, which would include changing the media. And I'm putting this tape across here because of course, being in semi-hydro, I can't soak it for a length of time because the water will come pouring out of the holes. So I tape it up. While I initiate this step, I want to say thank you to everybody that is subscribed to me and that has stuck around. Let's see if I have enough water. This is RO with a little bit of seaweed in it. If I don't have enough water, I shall be back. But no, that's perfect. That might reduce a little bit down because of the bubbles inside, etc. But that's perfectly fine for soaking the roots for the next 30 minutes to an hour. And then we'll take it out and have a look. And the sun is out. <clears throat> Yippee! It's nice and toasty. And it's time to get Mr. Garen Weaver out of his pot. But Silimi is jumping ahead of the game. So I have to first of all take off the tape and empty the reservoir. Okie dokie, let's have a look and see what we are up against, how easy this comes out or how difficult. This happened to me with the other pot as well, the first one it was in, so, so heavily rooted in, look at this, I'm lifting the whole pot off with the plant. Okay, I'm gonna just switch off the camera for now. I'm gonna bash it a little bit because it's gonna be too loud, too jiggly, too radical. Okay, I got the first layer off. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Look at all those roots. I love it. I think I can wedge it out of the pot now, no problem. All right. Oh, there's nothing like having slipper orchids with beautiful roots, hey? So I confidently said I could wedge it out. Let me see that I can do this. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. Here we go. Those fuzzy roots. Oh, they're such a joy. Come on, here we go. I don't know where it's holding on. What are you doing? Shall we get you out? All right, there's that. I don't see why it has anything to grab onto. You know, I might just have to actually rip. Wow. No joke, guys. Whew. 
You're gonna need a shower after this. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I love it. I do. I promise. I'm gonna be also trimming the roots when I put it back in the pot. And again, yes, that sounds radical, but it's okay for these guys when they're this vigorous in the root department <laughs> you can be a little bit more radical what are you holding on to let go <laughs> the struggle is real Woo. look at you here we come all right okay everywhere all righty 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 <laughs> roots or what Check this out. Check this out. The problem, we're not the roots at all. Isn't that amazing? There's a microfiber in there. Maybe from a long time ago when I was putting the microfiber on top so that it would um, retain humidity. Well, it can stay. Huh? What do you think? Oh, I can do my biceps now. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the roots. You know what? Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that just a sight for sore eyes? It's gorgeous. I love it can't say why it was snagging somewhere but it's got the new roots coming out look at that oh sorry I'm just gushing over the roots of my Phragmopedium here incredible I thought I was going to trim off I've changed my mind there's no real reason to trim anything off here what am I going to trim off let me see if you can see that. Eh, yeah, what am I gonna trim off? There's nothing down there to be dangling. And they're all great. What I am going to do though is pot it up lower into the pot so that it can, uh, oh, I just picked up all the lecker ones from the floor. I'm gonna pot it up lower so that I can accommodate the root ball because sometimes I've been noticing that some roots are coming up, you know, and trying to crawl over the lecker. So that's all I'm gonna do, guys. My word. Yeah, happy. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's gonna be noisy with the patting and the tapping and the shaking it in, but we'll come back when I'm done, okay? Just a quick clip to show you something. These dark ones, here that look different from the other ones. Those were the hydro rocks that I used initially that I mentioned in a video that reeked of metal when it came to flushing out the dust. These were the nasty, nasty ones. So yeah, in, in the Fragmopedium early days, I was still using that. And you see, I changed it out. Hydro rocks, my goodness, they were disgusting. So there's still some of those left in there. Whew. Sorry about the previous clip. That, I think I was a bit out of breath there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, it's back in its pot. I've lowered it a little bit, giving new roots the opportunity to come out without, you know, trying to crawl across the top of the media. Now the sun has gone in again. I'm sorry. I hope that you can still see though how deep I've placed it and I just wanted to say a thank you to Ed on, on Ed's Orchids for his another little nugget when I made this previous post about my Garen Weaver and the state of the leaves etc to keep the roots cool so yeah Lekka will keep the roots cooler of any or other orchid as well um, based on the fact it's inorganic but where I had it located it would get late afternoon sun which can be quite hot 
So it has now moved into my beautiful little contraption shady place with the Angraecums under that fabulous unicorn beach umbrella. Well, I'm happy to say that there are no issues with the roots and I hope that you enjoyed watching me struggle with this. It took a bit longer thanks to the power of editing. You didn't have to watch all of it. But we did get to see the results of uh, the semi-hydro effect on Phragmopedium garron weaver after two years. Bearing in mind, I had already had to repot it between that time. So this would be the second time I've had a look at it in two years and it's been in this pot one. It used to live in a cymbidium pot, you know, the tall commercial black ones. The standard size ones that you can get when you buy your cymbidium from the garden center. That's what this used to live in after it came from the nursery. And I've bumped it up to this pot, which is about 18 centimeters in diameter. And it's eaten that as well, as well as it has eaten my microfiber. It's doing fine. It's not the roots. It's the, my culture and I shall try to do better. This new growth here. These two, they're doing all right. I still have some scarring on the leaf right there. But other than that, thank you very much for growing so well. I appreciate it. And thank you everybody for watching. And I hope that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.